I went out today. It's like in the 80s, I think. I went out to this Korean place. It was really cute and really aesthetically pleasing. I wasn't facing where all like the cuteness was, but I tried to discreetly get some videos. There's a family right in the way of everything. So I didn't want them to think that I was just taking a full on video of them, but it was really, really good. They didn't open until three. So I just had like an early brunch and then an early dinner. And then I walked over to Millie's ice cream. I think it's a Pennsylvania thing. And I read about specific Pittsburgh places, like recommendations to go to. So went in, got one scoop of brownie batter and one scoop of mint chocolate chip. I sat right outside the store, which maybe you can tell in the videos I took. Again, I just don't, I don't want people to think I'm taking videos of them. And there's so many people out. It was really nice though, because I haven't really been out in the city during this time of day where it's people are just getting done with with work, everyone's kind of just chilling, people are done with school. Yeah, it just felt a lot more busy and communal and I liked that. I felt like I didn't stand out as much because there were so many people. I always feel like so exposed sometimes when there's not enough people around in a city. But yeah, it's it was really nice and there was this girl that came into the korean place i went it's called baby's kitchen bae like b-a-e and there was one girl came in and she looked exactly my age she had really cool tattoos on she had tattoos like on her arm and i'm pretty sure they were the you know in spongebob square pants the floral cloud colorful cloud things they have in the sky. It was that. And I, I was like, what if I literally just invited like her to sit with me to eat and made a new friend? It, it remained a thought. <laughs> it didn't happen. But I hope that one day I'll be brave enough to do that. You know, I'm try I try to be as comfortable in an uncomfortable situation as I can. But yeah, it was really good. I'm really getting the hang of eating out in public areas ordering by myself, chilling by myself. I bring a book with me every time. It's really not a big deal, thank God. I kind of feel almost more confident, like I'm giving off independent girl vibes. I don't feel like I'm a loner. It doesn't give me that anxiety. Again, I try to take as much video as I could without feeling awkward, so I didn't really get as much as I wanted, but it is what it is. But anyway, that's my day. I have less than a week here, which is kind of crazy. I've had a really great time. Alex has warmed up to me so much. We are not enemies anymore. <laughs> he hasn't really tried to attack me since like the first few days and he's become really comfortable with me. I'm definitely gonna miss him when I leave but I'm also you know I'm excited to get to be home for a couple days and just chill out with my parents and have some company because I really have been alone this entire time, which I'm, I'm very introverted. I love my own company, but you know, sometimes it is like I've been talking to myself this entire time. <laughs> and sometimes you just want people just right in front of you instead of through a screen or through text. So it was, it was a good day today, it was a good day. all day for the last like 24 hours i've been spiraling because i am a dancer i dance i've danced my entire life and since graduating college i haven't danced at all and it's been a year exactly basically <laughs> i'm spiraling because i went into my computer yesterday and uh to look for videos that weren't on my phone. And I just went into a whole deep dive into all these old videos from when I was in college that I like never shared. Cause at the time I would have been way too critical of myself to ever share any videos. But now I watch them and I'm like, what? <laughs> I just miss dancing. The other day I actually took to doing some improv in this little um, apartment building and the windows were open and I was like, I don't really care if anyone saw me. They got a show. They got a good interpretive dance performance. But with like me traveling, it kind of hit me. I'm not really gonna get a proper chance to go dance anywhere. And I just realized just yesterday that one of my old dance teachers, she has her own 
company away from the company that she was with me. And they have this thing where you can rent out their studio space for however long you want for a price, obviously. And they have classes every week. And it took me to just now finding out that information. <laughs> but I'm glad I know now because then whenever I go home for like a week at a time, I can go out and do that. I don't know, I just miss dance a lot. It was a constant my entire life. And when I moved home after college, there's no room in this house. Unless I danced in our living room, I guess, but that would be awkward. Cause I don't like to just do it when people can just walk in. So I really haven't been dancing and choreographing. I haven't had the space to even just do it for fun so i've decided i'm gonna do a dance video a day on my instagram on my story and then save it to my highlights because i don't know why but i always kept the fact that i danced on the down low when i was younger i'm not embarrassed to show any of these photos now or these videos now because it's from like five years ago <laughs> so if i suck in them it's kind of whatever because I could just say I've improved since then, even if it's not true. It was like prime, which kind of saddens me that it was kind of prime, but nothing beats like competition convention days. If you're a competition dancer, if you grew up in that, you understand. It's brutal, but you grow a really good thick skin. All my motivation comes from dance. And so when I don't have it anymore, that type of character trait <laughs> kind of goes away. I just miss it a lot. I miss it a lot, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna hang in there. I'm very excited today because it's Saturday. It's the weekend before I leave and I convinced my family to come out to spend the day with me. So I'm about to go meet with them in a few minutes and yeah, we're gonna spend the day together. So I'm really excited about that. I think we're gonna do some touristy things, go to some places that I wanted to take them to eat that I haven't gone to myself and hopefully get some more proper videos now that I won't be alone. So I won't feel so awkward about it. Today is like a beautiful day and I miss my family. Family, even though I'm coming home in a few days, <laughs> I miss them and yeah, we're gonna have a really good day. That's gonna be so fun. Take a major coming down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Well, we don't actually know it's about to rain, but it's here. I'll show you the. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that's obvious. But the clouds are getting dark, so we don't really know if we're gonna, about to get bored on. But we're gonna make the most of our outdoor adventure <laughs> as we can. Last full day, I'm leaving tomorrow. I've been cleaning all day and I'm just super hungry now. So that it's only like 5.30, but and I usually eat at like 10 38, but you know, we're all been doing a lot of work today, so I had to do laundry and clean the sheets. I had to iron the sheets. I ironed three sets of sheets. It was bad planning on my part. I have all my shoes and my clothes packed. And then I need to vacuum and I need to clean the floors. And I've cleaned the stove and the countertops. And then I need to clean the dishes, but that's like run the dishwasher. But I am think I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I'm gonna eat before I leave. This trip has been really good. I didn't really do any of the touristy things except the strip district and like the, all the food places, but it was a really good time. I feel like this went by so quick. It was two and a half weeks. It was like 17 days and it feels like it just flew by, but I'm really excited for my next trip and I'm grateful for this one and hopefully I'll be able to come back at some point because the location and the apartment building amazing yeah and this has been like my little experience first little solo trip so definitely nothing super special but at the same time it is special you know but yeah this was Pittsburgh <laughs>